Could one tiny adjustment to your bedroom give you a better night's sleep? A recent study shows the temperature of the room has even more of an effect on our sleep cycles than light. Here to explain and tell us how we can make this information work for us is WSJ health reporter Sumathi Reddy. Sumathi, great to see you. So tell us about this recent study that focused on temperature rather than light having the effect on our sleep. So this study was folk was looking at three pre-industrial tribes, two in Africa, one in Bolivia. Um, these people sleep out in the open, no electricity, you know, these are the way our ancestors lived. And they were looking at all sorts of different sleep parameters. But one interesting finding was that the sleep cycle at night um, corresponded to the temperature fluctuations, not light. Which oh, is because we all see. assume that when it's dark, people exactly. would sleep, and when it's light, they would wake up. But that isn't what was waking no, them so up. No, they weren't falling asleep right when the sun set. It was actually they were falling asleep when the temperature started to drop. Interesting. So, yeah. of course, it's not new, you point out in your article, that, that cooler temperatures help us sleep better. So what is the optimal temperature for our rooms? Sure. So it's, at, it's cooler than you'd expect. I mean, I've heard anywhere from 60 to 67, mm. with the sweet spot sort of being around 65. So is, is, are there very variations? Like, would you perhaps like a cooler room than I do? I mean, there can be depending on, you know, are you sleeping with another person? Right. What are you wearing? What kind of covers do you have on? And how much sort of like your own body, you know, all, our body temperature sort of varies. Some people are naturally colder more right. often than some are hot. I th found it fascinating though that experts say just lowering the temperature a few degrees can have a pretty dramatic effect on our sleep, correct? Yeah. So studies have found both that, um, you know, if you're, it, that it helps you both in terms of falling asleep, not waking up so often, and even a deeper sleep. You and get more deeper sleep when you're at a sort of appropriate temperature. What about that old wives tale of sort of taking a warm bath before you go to sleep? It, it has that? some merit, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Tell so us. Studies have found that if you take a, temp a bath at like pretty hot bath, 102 degrees Fahrenheit, for I think 30 minutes, yes. about 20 minutes before bedtime, that even though you think it's counterintuitive, but as soon as you walk out of the bath, your core temperature plummets because the heat's emanating from your skin, and this is what you want. To and that's skin. what you want. Okay, yes. now does a shower do the same thing, or it has to? No, be no, it has to be the bath, soaking in the bath. So yeah, <laughs> that'll make a lot of people <laughs> rethink moving, t taking the bathtub out and putting one of those walk-in showers yeah, exactly. in their in their bedroom. Any other tips on getting a good night's sleep? Um, so temperature, like I said, keeping it 65, um, layers in the bed in terms of sheets and stuff. You want to wear breathable cotton sort of pajamas. And then um, if you're too hot, kind of sticking your hands and feet out of the bed helps because it helps um, make your, your temperature drop. And what if you're one of those people that does like it a little bit warmer than their partner? Can you wear sort of socks and mittens to keep yes, your... Yes, so socks do help. Okay. And right. also there's all these products that are out there now that are mattress covers where that you can adjust your temperature with your phone. Um, so if you have a partner that has a different preference, that can help. So good to know. I am lowering my thermostat tonight. Yeah. So I'll be ready. Thank you so much for Thanks that. Thanks for having me.